Gata to Mahamaya. I think one thing is Adastya Bhagavan Gita. Any different yoga, I think it's Kali Yuga. And she told me, you come to me, take me into you to this place. So all my children will come to me and get it directly from me. Because I can see a lot of it. And I found out I have never been there. I have seen it, but not physically. And that's a very strange thing. Top of a mountain, go to Kadarna. It would be about 11,000, 11,000 feet and higher. On top of the mountain, is the, there's nothing else there. 30 miles around, uh, there's no place to even stay. But I found the place and I would stay there. Strangely, that uh, village, the base of the mountain, is called Agastin. So we know who concentrated it. That's the reason she said, go and bring me here. And the logic behind it is, we go to a place where great Maharishi built the temple. That means he had gone through all the process. So all this vibration, these are eternal Maharishi. There's no the, the vibration always persists. They are eternal. And when you go there and do the mantra she gives and bring it back, the temple gets the energy. I'm, I'm just an intermediary. Go there, pick up at the main man, main man, I pick it up and bring it back. And here she said, yes, do that for me. And this means in the day, you do the right. You know, I be very, very powerful. Because I will come, even though she's here as Mahamari, Mahamari is prior to creation. I want you to understand how this creation was. Pre-creative energy, pure consciousness. That only decides to create. She wants to feel us. She wants, she was alone. She wants to feel herself to the end of time. So she creates. To do that, she divides herself into three movies. So Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. She, gives, she herself becomes all this. So she's pre-creative energy. Mahamayi or Mahamayi. Mahamayi Karumayi, that's the way I invoke her. It's up to you how you want it to. But she is pre-creative, pure consciousness. It becomes us, not creates us. She creates us too, but she becomes us. So the Atman to Paramatma connection. Just so yesterday was important day, Shivaratri. On that day, the constellation movement awakened you the origin of the translation. That's a huge difference. We haven't even seen our backyard. We are still looking at our own solar system. We haven't even crossed it. We need to get Mars to the Saturn and Neptune, they are further. We are still our backyard. We haven't even crossed it. To find the space where she can look at the Earth that she has figured out <coughs> certain times of the year, <coughs> the conservation movement makes them look at us, turns them, Paramatma's energy, to Jiva. On that day, you come to the temple and you are mature, you get a thousand times more than any other day. That's the symbolism of Shivaratri. We had a wonderful function yesterday. All of you, you got to do the Abhishekam. That's a tremendous boon. To be able to do Abhishekam by yourself, that's a huge boon. And she grants us. Then she makes sure somebody comes to her and bring her and Agastya Muni's energy to this place. So you can get it. How beautifully she does. How concerned, how, how personal she is. You can't get that. You know, creator, to be so personal, she makes sure that everything is done properly. The magnificent house <coughs> she's building to be a magnificent place. Something you have not seen. The way she has brought new devatas. All her. I know the plan. It was a wonderful plan. Nothing like that exists in one place for all the time. Then they actually, millions and millions of them, they're already here and they anticipate the arrival of her <coughs> in so many forms. She has been here and they actually said, yeah. The more of them. Then she said, the whole decade will be hard. The whole decade means the whole generation. And two five stars will come in the virus. That virus could be deadly. She would prevent it. That point is like a Spanish flu. I don't know how many of you, nine, uh, two, the, oh, nine, yeah. uh, 19, the great Spanish flu. How many of you know about that? It came by 30 million people in one year. Just like this coronavirus started. Slowly, quietly, and then it covered. So 
So we are taking it lightly, but those, uh, as I know, the uh, CDC, they tell me this could be that. But luckily, we are taking precautions. But the travel being so easy, it, it could be deadly. So CDC doesn't want a lot of people. All the population, they don't want a lot of people. Because nothing they can do. They take the precautions and do isolation. But once it reaches the peak and hits us, humanity cannot survive. And humanity meaning be millions of dead. I mean, this is like the whole economy. I mean, it will be a major crisis. And so far it doesn't happen. I feel confident and comfortable because she said, you bring my Yakshini aspects, they will protect the world. So nothing catastrophic will happen. But still there are over a thousand deaths in any thousand. But not millions and millions. Like it happened in 2019. So 30 million people just went right through six months then it disappeared because they don't want to kill. So it disappeared. That kind of a thing she was telling me. And okay, make sure that uh, I am here to protect you. And you do whatever I tell you to do. And I do them. One of the examples today's function, and we do them not just for us, for the world. It's for the world, not just for us, our devotees. It is, because we are close and she is very private. That is one level of uh, connection. Other level, she protects the whole world. All the Sri Kerala. This is the age of Asura. People wonder, why one after another so many? Why not? She's Kaliva. What do you expect? So far, she's done beautifully. After the Second World War, no major catastrophe. She's protected her. It was 20, 100 years, not even 100 years. Small vacation. It will hit. And when it hits, she will be here because we did everything she, she asked us to do. You did, because you are Pratiniti. I know Pratiniti next week, I'm going to go there. But you are Pratiniti in your level, because you go there, connect, and bring the energy, and live it to the world. So you are a Pratiniti too, uh, because you are participating. So participate and uh, receive her. Uh, get that uh, grace she used so abundantly. She was the first lady to come out. Now she's back again to monitor the home. If she wants to make sure we do it all, once the completion now, we are not allowed to use this place because we don't have the outcomes for permit. We do small baby rules, but to do all of it, we have to complete that. And we will, in a year, hopefully by June, July time frame, Mahamaya, we got Sanidana, that will be my position. You see the Sanidana alone, it will be Ganesha, like a whole temple, it will be my position. And she has given us, uh, Strangely, all the Grama Devata, about which we don't think and we don't worship them, we don't even know about them. She's made sure that we install them and uh, invoke them. They are like policemen. A policeman is more useful to you sitting in your home than chief of police uh, in the castle. He doesn't even know you. The policeman next to your home, he knows, he protects you. These deities are that kind of thing, Munishwara, many 14 of them. And she's given us you in Star Wars. And make people know them, that people do not know them. They may know Munishwara, they know Virabhadra, you know, few of them, not all of them. So you make them know. How do I do it? I bring them small sandilam for each. When you go to Pita, Rishti Pita, you will see them. When you see them, you relate to them. You don't in abstract form, you forget. That's the reason why the girl has a big form. It tells you there's something tangible, something not abstract. Abstract things are hard to consume, but we do, you know, tradition we do. But we do it simplistically. We know mother and she activates all those energies. These are all cosmic energy, pure vibratory energy. They are not human. I call them superhuman or super sensual. Depending on the level of vibration. Actually is will have say ten thousand no, ten million vibration. We will have like a hundred thousand vibration. A stone is not a without one. So everything is vibrating. Depending on your vibration, you are perceived as what you are, as a human. But the super sensual forces, they exist. Now, temple, they're very active. If your Kundalini is active, you can see them. But they're very rapidly vibrating, so you don't feel them. Most people don't feel them. But they are there. Everything that exists, you should be able to see and feel them, but you not come. The higher centers the hypothalamic pituitary, third eye, probably simplistically, which here Bhagavan, all the deities, helps us. Ganesha helps us. 
just the Kundalini activity. And we all have Kundalini depending on our work. So once it's woken up, you feel and see what are what are not feelable, not seeable, not knowable, she will show them to you. They'll come to you. Because you're vibrating too. And you've got to be a certain level of vibration where you can perceive that's all. That's the only difference. Now we are too dense. So we don't feel that. We see only sense based things. The five senses, whatever can be seen with that, we feel and know them. There are so many higher higher vibrations. Huge. Mother would be trillion, 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 highest. Uh, and the, from that would come to the and from them would come all the day. So the new temple, all of this would be represented. <coughs> and planning to do the universe on the top, in the room, that would be very difficult. And trying to find a way that we can show all the galaxies, all the solar systems. If ours is one of a billion, our Milky Way is small, small, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, not a big galaxy. Milky Way has millions and millions of uh, solar systems. We are one of them. We haven't even left our backyard. But she has given us a wisdom and knowledge, understanding what's going on 300,000 years after she can, uh, as, as manifested as practically. We know what happened. First 300,000 years we know. Nobody knew, nobody knows. So it's too hard and there's nothing exists. Trillion degree temperature. What can it do? And it cooled down 300,000 years later, cooled down enough to billion, billion uh, degrees. That level we could see small activity and then the galaxy formation, supernova. And we are third generation. We are sun people, understand, we are divine. The third generation, what I mean by third explosion, third supernova level, iron, heavy metals. First just hydrogen, helium, and oxygen, first level. Then second level, second super. The third manifestation, us. So we are the third manifestation of star people. Truly, scientifically, we don't know that because the heavier metals form the third level. We are the third. The iron, the whole the earth is mostly iron. Four coal is iron. Other solar systems, there will be different forms, different gravity. There are billions and billions and billions. In our Galaxy. Initially, they said thousand planets, maybe ten thousand years ago. Now they are saying it's close to trillion. We could see the plus. Look how science is so rudimentary, so stupid. But something is so powerful, shiny. How could we see all the little things next to it? We can't. We put the million watt uh, bulb. We cannot see any of it. Sun is like that. So I knew we had numerous planets. They didn't see it. Now every day the finding times. But there are many, many are. Now they come to our trillion planets. And we talk to the other people our ourselves. We are very stupid sometimes. We don't use the common sense. But I knew all along we had many, many numerous planets. But they could they are not visible uh, because of the power of the sun shining so powerfully. Anything less intense won't be seen. But now they accept they are that many. That is only one galaxy I'm talking about, Milky Way. Milky Way is a small galaxy. Our next door neighbor, Andromeda galaxy, is three times as big. Some of them are many, many times. And coming back to that, you know, we give a lot of importance here. Of course, Kalamari and Vika is already, she is a dark energy. 95% of the universe is dark energy. 5% is visible universe. All the things we see with the most powerful uh, telescopes is 5%, the visible universe. What happens to the rest of it? What are they? That's Mahamari. Ayapa takes part of that, the dark energy. So Ayapa energy is very important. And uh, why they're not visible? They're mostly a wimp. You know what? Wimp is weakly reactive, massive particle. They're weakly reactive, so you can't feel them, you can't see them directly or indirectly. They call it wimp. Weakly reactive, massive particle. That we you know. And we can't feel them because they don't interact. That would be about 30%. Rest of it would be Mahamayu and Dayaka. So dark energy and dark mass takes up 95%. And that's what we don't know about. It. And that's what she is. So I call it Mahamayu. Then Pibhuti, then everything. 
So creation is very simple, if you understand it this way. She did, uh, the Big Bang is not a Big Bang. <coughs> she expanded. Now scientists understand there's no Big Bang. It's the expansion of that one minute, very dense uh, object, which is pure consciousness. And we come from her. So we are star people, third generation. And that means we have potential to become devata, to become actionists, to go into that nominal world. This is phenomenal. That's all we know. Nominal world is unseen, unrecognizable, unfelt aspect of us, which we don't know. Yakshini is time. Yakshini is the Dhyadara, not there, but all of them are super sensual, high vibratory. And you go beyond them all day, and we'll have many of them. Some of them you will be of. She said, I want them here because of the terrible thing which is the sign. The Asuras will do. Kali Yuga, they are given the right to Today, they are very active here as well. So we took them with respect, with reverence, and let them go. That's the reason why we don't hold our hand. We don't want them to go. We like them so they can come back. No. In her presence, they become our friend. Because she is a commander. Uh, and she is the mother of Asuras too. And one side is Minash and the other side. She is a royal counselor. She is a commander. And all the Asuri characters, they all come from one. Anything exists has to come from her. Good, bad, evil, angels, demons, anything. We use them the way we want to, and our story, what it says, the plans. And this mantra, as you see, what a beautiful mantra she gave. Customized mantra. Om Shri Mithin Dhinsu. Jwala Jwala Sudhini. Ashyeta Manashya Sarvasatru Samhara Samhara Shema Lama Tudhu. Dushta Graham. See, she identified that. Plan is what causes you problem. Dushta Graham. In the next one. I'll, I'll control the problem. And whom, whom is the most powerful mantra? Whom is the most powerful mantra against Asura? That's why in Yoga uh, Sakti Sri, when Yoga Devi comes, that's the mantra she uses to kill or to destroy. I don't want to say kill, kill, kill it, kill it. Destroy it, Sumba and Sumba, uh, Chandra Mantra. That's a Vija. The Vija is a great Asura. Nothing like that it is. If we draw blood, she will come out. So thousands and millions and millions of Ratha Buddha are coming. So Mahakarya Singh is puzzled. How am I going to kill them? Every time hurt them. That one drop becomes thousands of Ratha Buddha. How do I kill them? Should she thought from that came Chamadishwari, that Vita. Kum Vita. That's a Vita she used to destroy that particular Ratha Buddha. That's one big one. That's the most difficult one to, to kill. And she did that. So our, our path is very scientific, very really logical. And look at Sapta Sati, we go through the whole the, the little chapters. She explains from uh, uh, Chandamanda, all of them. <coughs> the, the creation, the creation of uh, Asuras. And Asuras are needed. Without Asuras, they are not there. If you want to eat there also and become Devi, you have to confront Asuras. So they are very needed. So all this wisdom, Ganesha gives because Muladhara is the beginning of the uh, chakra. So he gives you the wisdom, then ultimately she gives you the ability to conquer, to control, uh, and symbolically, Patikeya came to the chakra there. That's all you can use, you can identify that as well. And he gives the wisdom to your father, but he's only given the right chakra there, given by the right And with that, he was able to vanquish uh, the Sumbhana Sumbhana and the Final one is uh, uh, the Sumba. Sumba is Sumba. Sumba is the final one. Why it is so hard to uh, slay him? It's, it's a big story, you know, the story. We united in a month ago. He is a sophisticated, uh, enlightened, enlightenment. That is a big uh, problem. That's what they say. I'm a Rajasic, Tamasic, Sakvi. Sakvi itself becomes a block. As you become egotistical, you know what this is. You raise up. But the minute you feel that way, the connection and the purity is gone. To be pure, you have to understand who you are, who she is, Atman Paramatma. She gave rise to you and she will take you back. But you have to show that uh, humility, the purity. I, I use the word purity. Don't you me. I'm a nice person. I've done this, this, this. I said, purity to them. I'm talking about 
two more in the lower mean, lesser vibratory uh, delta. That purity they need is so high, we cannot be there. Only when we cannot purify is to have this. She will purify you, yeah, but that level of purity is not achievable. And the thought isn't pure, the thought. We all hear so many thoughts. Every thought has vibration, every thought has consequences. And they are real, they are tangible, every thought. How many thoughts we have? And jealousy, Tama, Toda, Loba, Moksha, Matama, Sariya. Nobody is away from that. We all have it. Different level. And she identifies it and says, come to me, I will take care of all of them. But know me and get my grace. To know her and get her grace takes how many lifetimes? Almost a million lifetimes. You people must have been that many times because you are here. You won't be here unless she invites you. That means you are all the same. To be that old, to know her, or her to invite you, she has to invite you on here. <coughs> I know that. Uh, so you are all souls. This time she will give you much more. And potentially he can be your life. You can go into the normal world, which is about and We have the potential. Being and becoming. To become, you have to have a place. Jnana alone will not take you to that level. I will take the rightest level. But not to that level where you become a deity. That's a very, very big aspect. As she said, you need to have a potential. And I'll give you the way, I'll give you the knowledge. I'll make you know the action is there to teach you more. That much she has given. Nobody, I've never read about this. There's nothing written. Even in Vedic text, all these finer energies <coughs> will come to us and enlighten us. That's Kundalini activity. Well, Kundalini, there's a lot of things written. In a practical way, she showing that much finer. I've never seen it, I've never read it. So somehow we have earned it. We are eligible for it. In our many life, like Krishna says, you know, 400, uh, 840, uh, almost a million times, we have been in human form. I know you, but you know you. But then he just go and fight to people. I'm telling you what is there, not what you have to do. Don't try to argue. You may as well argue Krishna. My cousin, how can I do that? He said, no, you're not doing it. He didn't believe it. Actually, we are more evolved than Arjuna. You know why I say that? We believe it. We trust it. We intuitively know that it's true. Then he has to show Arjuna the Visarupa. And that Visarupa is not the whole battle. It's done already. All his uncles, arms, gurus, and all that. He killed them already. He doesn't know the battle is over. The story is written already. So he said, what are you doing? Just go and do your function. Dharma function. This thing is done already. Everything is written. We got it. And here you see them. And he saw this one. But then he took the bow and, and fought. Do we need it? We want it. You are him that he is divine and he's telling us there is no other. When you have me, whatever you do becomes dharma. Also, you won't think of doing other. Because we are not going in other. Some of them will do. But other make an highest level. We would not. We won't be capable of doing other. She exists and she wakes up. Thank you.